Over the last sort of 15 years, we've seen a huge increase in the amount of plastic pollution on our coastlines, uh, and a lot of it comes from land-based sources. So about 80% of stuff that you see on the coastline has come from the land in some way or another. Something like 8 million pieces of litter go into the sea every day around the world. I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist, and I, I think we're in trouble unless we see some pretty major changes. A straw in the UK is used for about 20 minutes. Um, if it does escape, of course it's really light, and it can last in the environment for up to 600 years. Vanished bottles, found 22, I think, in the space of a week. Marine litter doesn't vanish, it, it just breaks up. We seem to find quite a lot of minions. We yet to outlive any piece of plastic we've ever produced as a species, which is quite staggering. We are, as a society, obsessed with plastic. Um, we use so much of it, much of it just once, and yet it, it lasts for hundreds and hundreds of years. If you buy something from a supermarket or a local store that's got plastic on it, if it can't be recycled, where does it go? Uh, it goes to landfill or gets incinerated. Um, and unfortunately, even if you do put stuff in recycling, stuff also escapes. So it escapes that sort of recycling chain. And that's when, if it starts to get out in the environment, even though you don't mean it to have any adverse effect whatsoever, it can end up on our beaches, even in our countryside, causing um, loads of damage. carry on this, this business as usual model, there will be more plastic by weight than fish in our oceans by 2050. Which is pretty staggering considering we're not that far away. But the thing is, we're not there yet. So if we know that now, then we can take steps to actually change it. And I think that is the most important message for anything that's environmentally based. It feels like it's somebody else's problem. It feels like it's really far away. But it isn't, and if we all take actions now, we hopefully won't be looking back in 30 years time and go, oh, if only we did, you know, what would have happened if we had stepped up and said, no, not on my watch. We can write to companies and ask them not to do things and to change the way they, they package their goods, but I think the way to really get them to do it is to stop buying their product. You have that power to choose whether to buy something or not, which hopefully will expand with everybody else's choice and something just will cease to be. What's exciting is if you could actually identify plastic, can turn it into a filament and then 3D print something that is suitable for you, so not for me, not for somebody else, but purely for you, actually in your own home, that is surely going to be the way that we start to manufacture things. How can we turn that into stuff that people want to buy and buy responsibly as well? The generation that are coming up now have got it pretty hard because we're handing over a world that's not the best of shape, but we know what we can do about it. And when we have kids on beach cleans and stuff like that, they get it. They understand really quickly that this is bad and this is what we're going to do about it. Every person can do something and build momentum if we all do a little bit. That makes a huge difference when you amplify it by all the different people in the on the planet. When I heard the title of Amplify Human Vibration, it really resonated because that's pretty much what all these movements that people are involved with in, on environmental and humanitarian issues, that's the core. It's about taking something that might seem really small, it's like a ripple in the pond, and then how that spreads and how that interconnects with other things. Pick up three things to the sea. You can go onto the beach, pick up three things. Imagine if everybody picked up three things. We organise um, sort of community beach cleans, which usually involves coming down to the beach uh, for a couple of hours. And it's great, you get that good feeling of doing something positive. Of, you can look at the beach and see the difference you've made. No matter how small that action is that you make, it will affect somebody who help will then mention it to somebody else or will take part themselves. And then all of a sudden, something that's really little can spread far and wide. And that's really exciting and really empowering at the same time.